Hello, welcome to episode 151 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, A Thousand and One Movies You Must See Before You Die, 1940s His Girl Friday, directed by Howard Hawks and starring Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell. Um, I was really looking forward to this film um, because I'd previously watched and reviewed as part of this series, Bringing Up Baby, which is another kind of screwball comedy from the same director, Howard Hawks, and Cary Grant starring, although that was with Catherine Hepburn, so we have Rosalind Russell playing the, the female counterpart to Cary Grant in this film. Uh, got the Criterion Blu-ray, you can see on the shelf behind me there, the transfer looked stunning, um, and it was uh, 90 minutes. Uh, and, and the length kind of will play into this review, I think, because Bringing Up Baby, I was so wowed by that film. I loved the style of screwball comedy. It was just so funny. Um, it really made me laugh, and so I was really looking forward to this one. I think Bringing Up Baby is closer to two hours in length. This one is a bit shorter at 90 minutes. Um, and so I was thinking, well, maybe with His Girl Friday being shorter, because I felt a little bit worn out by the end of Bringing Up Baby, uh, that maybe this would be the per perfect optimal length for this kind of screwball comedy. Um, but I, I actually found myself thinking that Bringing Up Baby was a lot more enjoyable. But I really like this one as well. Cary Grant plays, um, I, I'm not sure if he's the head of the newspaper, but he's kind of a significant uh, uh, figure in this newspaper office. And his ex-wife, um, Hildy, played by Rosalind Russell, um, she's getting married and she comes to, to his office to tell her I'm getting married tomorrow I got this this new fiance and everything and so uh, Cary Grant is, is suddenly like you know he his, his mind starts spinning how can I can I delay um, her getting married to him so I can win this girl back over so the mo whole movie is about him trying to win back um, his ex-wife uh, and there's a lot of funny circumstances that kind of crop up uh, along the way and the the dialogue in this film maybe even more so than in bringing up baby is so rapid fire is so impressive like the way that the actors lines are overlapping each other and they're just going constantly machine gun rate with the dialogue um it, it just makes me just almost get a cold chill down my spine to imagine how how kind of hard it must have been to put this film together because they have so much dialogue and the takes are quite long and they're just rattling through this stuff and it's so fast and so quick but enunciated perfectly um you know to mess up just even the slightest bit of dialogue would kind of throw you off track uh, and and you know would waste the take and waste the film and i'm just thinking oh man you know did they go through many takes or were they all just rehearsed you know to such a great degree that uh, they pulled it off first time, I don't know. Uh, and apparently kind of improvising was kind of um, encouraged in a way, I guess. And there was a bit of back and forth between Rosalind Russell and the director, Howard Hawks, and even Cary Grant about kind of how much she had to say in the film and she was kind of adding stuff to her dialogue and things like that. Uh, the, the bulk of the film takes place in the room where uh, all of the newspaper reporters kind of have their phones ready to kind of uh, report on, you know, the, the latest breaking news and kind of to get calls in about stuff that's happening. Um, and that, yeah, the last hour of the film pretty much takes place in that one room. Um, so there's only a few, few locations in the movie and it feels quite small and contained, um, but it's very quick. You know, the, the pace is just, it just rattles along again, like the dialogue. Um, and there's this guy who's about to be sentenced to death and there's some political reasons about whether or not he should get sentenced to death. And uh, Hildy gets roped into kind of writing a piece on this guy to maybe save his life. They're not sure if he's innocent uh, or if he's guilty, whether he is innocent. Uh, and so basically the plot of this guy, Earl, uh, who shot a policeman, I, I believe, uh, him getting hanged, you know, is kind of the, the crux of the film. But really, it's more about Hildy and, and Cary Grant's character trying to, you know, pushing each other away from each other, but kind of getting drawn back in to each other's kind of, they have a great chemistry together, and you can really see that. And I wasn't sure where it was going to go, whether they would end up getting back together again, or whether, you know, the right thing would be done and she would go off with this new fiancé. Um, but again, it's a, it's a comedy, and it's not really played too seriously, and uh, I, I really enjoyed the stuff where um, the, the guy who was uh, sentenced to death and uh, is, is kind of, he basically goes on the run and escapes from the, his holding, and he ends up in the, the reporting room and he gets, you know, they, they shove him inside this desk and shut the shut the door. I just loved all that stuff where, you know, this, these scenes are going on and they're trying to protect the fact that the, the guy who's on the loose is inside the desk right behind them. A lot of funny thing, things come up from that. Really enjoyed the, the humour, you know, very funny, very fast. Um, but I don't feel like, I don't know, I have to compare it to Bringing Up Baby because it's from the same director, has the same lead, lead star, it's the same style of movie, uh, and I don't think it's as good as Bringing Up Baby. Uh, and I wasn't as interested in the 
the relationship between Hildy and Cary Grant's character. And then there's actually kind of a 20 minute portion of the film where, where it's, it's mainly, I mean, she's the main character of the film, but um, there's like a 20 minute section where Cary Grant is gone basically. And he comes back into it and it's like, oh, finally. Uh, and so I feel like something was lost there in the development of their kind of arc in this, you know, this, this period that the film takes place in, which is, you know, maybe six hours or so. Um, yeah, really funny, really enjoyable. Uh, one I'll definitely go back to. I know a lot of people rate it very highly. Um, is it a film you should see before you die? Uh, if if I was to say, you know, which... You know, if I had to choose only one screwball comedy from Howard Hawks starring Cary Grant, it would absolutely be Bringing Up Baby. But I also think that this is a, an outstanding film just from um, a delivery standpoint. I don't know, it's just really impressive. The And mainly from Rosalind Russell because she has so many lines. It's just the way that she... And, and she makes it feel believable as well because she's getting angry and she's getting mad and she's rattling off this stuff and rattling seems to be the key word in this review but she's you know and it doesn't sound like she's re it's rehearsed it sounds like it's real genuine uh, anger and annoyance coming out when she's trying to get this stuff done and, and trying to get out of this life and she wants to go and you know move away from the newspaper business and stuff um, but it keeps pulling her back in um, and I, I like the conclusion it was fun you know so yeah I really enjoyed this film. I guess it's a classic. I, I don't think it's an amazing film, um, but I think it's a really, really good uh, screwball comedy for the genre that it's in. And I think a lot of people have a really good time with it. And it does breeze by at 90 minutes. Um, but, I, but I didn't feel like, oh, this is so much better because it, it doesn't exhaust, it doesn't outstay its welcome of the, the rapid fire dialogue, which I feel like Bringing Up Baby did towards the end. It just exhausted me trying to keep up with everything. So I didn't have that problem in this film, but it wasn't like it was a big revelation either where it made the film better. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. Is it a film you should see before you die? I'm going to say yes, because I do think it's great. Um, but I think bringing up baby is uh, just that little bit better. So thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts down below if you've seen the film, what you think about it. And I'll see you in the next video.